Today's adventure begins as I'm checking out of my hotel as the recording of this Thursday, November 3rd, 2022. A windy, crisp day in Southern California, and I am heading to LAX, departing SoCal. This is the hotel I stayed in. Look, you can see the medieval, medieval time sign right over there. Welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here at a spot that I have started my intro for the past more than a week, 10, 10 11 days. I've kind of lost track here at my tenure in SoCal. I now have my backpack on and my suitcase ready to roll, going to LAX, flying to Knoxville, but not before a delay, an overlay, what they call it. I think I'm going to Charlotte. Yeah, I'm going from LAX to Charlotte, from Charlotte to Knoxville, renting another car, turning this rental car in at LAX, taking a shuttle from the rental car place in LA to the airport, flying to Charlotte, North Carolina, back to Knoxville, Tennessee, getting another rental car, and going to Pigeon Forge for a time frame there. I'm inviting you to join me. Shall you? This was my chariot, my time frame here. And these were my humble accommodations here on Beach Boulevard. The little the cars, you know, for a tall guy like me, I'm 6'3". Kind of small, but the thing that's nice about driving this around Los Angeles, Orange County, SoCal, it's easy to parallel park. So I prefer smaller vehicles when in California. Fun fact, just my opinion. And of course, it wouldn't be the LA vibe without a riveting game of gridlock. LA traffic's always an experience. I don't mind it though, I'm kind of used to it. And fueling up, we're taking it back $5.19 a gallon. And to be completely honest, I was expecting it to be more than $5.19 a gallon. I mean, that's not cheap, but yeah. Right here at the Rocket, where I'm returning the rental car. Goodbye, small rental car. Now I'm heading over to take the shuttle to the airport via this bus right here. Flying American Airlines, by the way. I don't think the six foot thing is even a thing anymore, but a lot of the stickers still remain. check the status board over here. Got the arrivals and departures. Should be listed on here. Departures to Charlotte. I'm not seeing it. Oh, there it is. Charlotte. American Airlines, 1925. All right, moved over here now. Okay, gate 53A. All right, evidently there are there's four and five for Americans, so I gotta go down to five. I was at four. Americans at four and five. Okay, there's a few people in here. Yeah, just a few people. Okay, that took a little bit longer. <laughs> About a half hour wait in the line. I put my shoes back on, my belt back on. I gotta take the laptop out. And I, the thing about these seats, I never know if you're supposed to sit on this or sit on this. Like, is this where you store the stuff? Is this cushion seat where you sit? These here at LAX always confuse me. I don't think anyone really knows. Is that the seat or is that the seat? To all gates. I don't need all gates though. I only need 53A. That's my gate. And just showing some of the merchandise up at the gift shops. Leaving Los Angeles. And leaving California. And passing by one of the rare FAO Schwartz. This giraffe this looks kind of eerily similar to a stuffed animal that John Ritter used in a Three's Company episode when he went to the psychiatrist. Just kind of reminds me of that. I don't know why I thought of that, but yeah. Okay, the plane over there that's loading the luggage is 51B. So that would be the one adjacent to the one I need to be at. I'm at 53A, which would be this little walkway out. 
boards in 33 minutes, departs at 1.31 p.m. and arrives at 9.11 p.m. Of course, there's a three hour time difference. That's why it seems like it's longer than it is. But it's still gonna be an all day, all day experience. Because once I get to Charlotte, I'm gonna get on another plane and then backtrack a little bit to Knoxville. And I'm kind of peeking out this window. You can see a lot of the American Airlines planes out here. A little hanger out there. 51B there. So I think that be, yeah. So I think that right there is my, my flight. And I am going to be sitting, I'm doing first class today. So, be towards the front of the plane, I will be able to board first. So basically, this flight, going there, be sitting in the front of the plane, and then also from Charlotte as well to Knoxville, front of the plane as well. And got window seats also. I always like to get the window seat so I can film out the side, or out the side window, get the takeoff and landings. It is kind of, kind of appropriate to have some Academy Awards and Oscars in here inside the gift shop at the LA airport. Of course, Hollywood. You know, and then Mickey Mouse's. I love LA. I really do love LA. All right, I was boarding group one, and I will be sitting in seat 1F, which I think is the very, very first row. So I don't think there'll be a seat in front of me, which gives me a little, even more leg room than you would have in the typical like first class, which is part of, part of the reason I even chose to do this because I'm, you know, I'm not thin and I'm very tall, so. I can see this time of arrival for Charlotte as well as up in the weather there. We're looking at a flying time about three hours and 55 minutes from wheels up to wheels down. Once again, welcome aboard. For an important safety briefing regarding our Airbus 321 aircraft. You know, it might seem kind of pointless, but I don't know if I've ever been on a plane where I was able to cross my legs like I just did and have the room to do that, which is pretty awesome. I'm not complaining. Has informed us we are expecting on and off bumpy air for the first 90 minutes of the flight. After that, it should smooth out nicely. So he has asked that everyone please pay extra attention to the pass and seatbelt sign. We now invite you to sit back, relax, and enjoy our flight. Charlotte, let's go. 
call it 844. Should get to the gate if you match the schedule. Right, this is there. Winds of the north about 10 miles an hour. Scattered clouds after 73 degrees. Head to sit back, relax, go to play. The service, I'll update you on these numbers just prior to I always like looking at the clouds. Just so beautiful. This is what we're dealing with. This looks amazing. It's like a grilled chicken. The biscuit, side salad, some nuts, Dr. Pepper. See the wing. Charlie 11. 
Please remain seated with your seatbelts fastened and keep the aisle clear of all carry-on items. Take a moment to check your seat back pocket for any personal items like tablets and cell phones. When you open over a compartment, please be careful as items may have moved in flight. You may not use your cell phone. All right. I'm in Charlotte. At least for like another hour. And I don't have to go too far. I'm over here at the Seagates and looking up here. What am I looking for? I'm going to Knoxville. I almost forgot where I was going. Yeah, Knoxville. 1040 is departing. Flight number 2639 and it's at gate C3. But since I have a little time before the next plane boards, I'm gonna walk around a little bit. Just kind of stretch my legs. Oh my God. Never been inside this airport before from what I can remember. I don't think I've ever been in here. It's pretty nice. There it is, Charlotte sweatshirts. Noticing this clock up here, it's 9.30. Boarding starts in about 40 minutes for my next flight. But check out all the all the different years of aviation. You got the hot air balloon, you got the airplanes, you got helicopters, all the different styles, modes of transportation through the through the sky. There's like a, I think there's even a NASA item up top there. I can't tell, I think that might be like a space shuttle, spaceship of some sort. Oh yeah, there's a space shuttle over there coming around. All the different eras. This is a really nice airport. Look, even the top of the clock, there's a guy right there that's like guiding the, the airplanes around. All right, I think that's my plane right there. It's also kind of interesting that pretty much went over Knoxville by like 200 miles to arrive here to have to backtrack to go to Knoxville because Charlotte is about 180, 190 miles east of Knoxville. Except there was no direct flight, so I didn't really have a choice. It's all part of the experience. It's okay though, I've never been to this airport before, so it kind of worked out. Not that I have a checklist or anything. But. Looks like they're about to fill the plane up with fuel by going up on the top of that ladder there. I think that's the fuel that goes through that hose up into the wing. I'm not an expert at this, but I've seen it done a few times. I think that's what's going to happen. Now on this flight, I am in seat 2A. I think I'm sitting on the other side of the plane than I was on the last one. Windows. Should be an on time departure for an on time arrival uh, into Knoxville. Should be 31 minutes from takeoff to touchdown. I'd like to thank you for flying with us tonight. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the flight. What are all those lights? A bunch of flashing red lights.
use the light on my phone to show a little snack on this 40 minute flight. Farm fresh supreme mix, almonds, cashews, pecans. Two of them. And a Dr. Pepper in a glass. Probably no meal on this one because it's such a, sh a short flight, just a layover. But plenty of legroom. Plenty of legroom, which is nice. Feel it's cooler here, even even walking down the they call this jetway. Look, there's even a there's even a zamboni in here, cleaning the floor. Ooh, it is nice and quiet in here. There's a little airplane up there, dangling from the roof. Wow, you can't even come in. They have the gates pulled down over here. It's all exit only. No entry at this point. So I guess there must not be any flights coming in. All the checkpoints are closed up. Oh, this door's not opening. Okay, parking garage, rental cars, baggage claim. I have my bags with me. So I gotta go this way to rental car area. 10 minutes to midnight. Hope there's someone still at the rental car area. Yeah, this is a lot more mellow than LAX. Granted, it's also midnight now and i was able to get the keys to my rental car all righty worked out pretty good got a car there weren't a lot left but there was one that i was able to get under the cusp well i almost say under the cusp because maybe they're 24 hours but i was kind of worried that they might not be open past midnight it's now 12 18 i'm on my way to pigeon forge about a 50 minute drive give or take I'm ready to be there just got to check into my hotel once I arrive. Check out Dr. Macy's bird dog. Right here. This sculpture is an homage to Dr. Macy's bird dog. Local to the area. And also local to the area is the one and only Dolly Parton. Whenever I arrive to this area, I always 
go by the sculpture here of Dolly just to say hello and let her know I'm back in town. I'm back! Up there, according to the clock, it's about six minutes until 1 a.m. It is late. And I'm going to be in this area for at least a week. I don't have a definite amount of dates in mind or days in mind, but I'm going to go full Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg, Sevierville, Arias, over at least the next week. Give or take a day. Let's just say a week. Give or take a day. I used to make it a tradition to come out here this time of year, every year. I did it for a few years in a row. It's been a while, though. It's been a while since I've been here at this time frame. I have been here since then when I used to come out here as a tradition. But it's been a while since I was here in this date range. I love it in the early and to mid-November in the Great Smoky Mountains. I've arrived. Just in time for the holidays. Halloween is over and Christmas is gearing up. Yes, Thanksgiving is coming up as well, but Thanksgiving is a day. Christmas is a season and it's starting to kick off here. Near the Great Smoky Mountains, Sevierville, Pigeon Forge, Gatlinburg. That's going to do it for today. I'm tired. I'm going to go check in my hotel, get some slumber. I'll see you in the next video. The vlog is over.